My name is Adam. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the extensive list of improvements and features you can expect in ACDC Mac 9. I will be timestamping these features in the description below so you can skip ahead to the feature that most interests you. We'll begin with the features added to manage mode. We're very excited to announce face detection and recognition in ACDC Mac 9. Face detection and recognition allows you to categorize your images of people by adding their names to your photo collection. Faces are detected automatically in ACDC. You can turn on this automated detection process by navigating to Preferences. Face detection appears as a tab on the top. The first setting enables you to toggle automatic detection and the second option allows you to toggle idle detection. Automatic detection is on by default. Recognition is ACDC's ability to pair images that it determines to have similar facial features. As you can see by this slider here, you can adjust this process to be more conservative or more general. By default, it is set in the middle. I'll navigate to an image that contains a person in view mode. Click show outline to display ACDC's face detection. Click the face tool to enable the naming process. We'll name our subject. If I navigate to another image, the tool will either have named our subject for us, or it will have proposed the name for us. In this instance, I can see a proposed name. I can either click the X button to rename my subject, or I can click the check mark to add the proposed name. By naming more images, ACDC becomes more certain of proposed names and will be less uncertain. If I navigate back to Manage Mode, I can now catalog these images. Note the People drop down menu from underneath your Organize panel. Note that our person is listed here. Clicking on these names will bring up all associated images with the name regardless of folder location on your hard drive. In the event that I need to remove a name or edit a name in my catalog, I can navigate to Tools, Manage People. My people are listed here and I can delete a person, merge two people into one category, or simply edit the name. In the event that I need to remove faces from an image or rerun recognition on faces, I can navigate to Tools, Face Detection. Note that I can import Lightroom or Picasa face data if my images have this metadata. Finally, if I navigate back to view mode, I can remove a recognition box manually by clicking on the red X that appears when I hover over my face box. Faces can be redrawn manually if needed. Filter keyword and category list. New to ACDC Mac 9 is the filter function within categories and keywords. These sections, especially when you have hundreds of keywords or categories, can get pretty hard to navigate. These provide a fast way to isolate the needed element. And from there, with your image highlighted, the corresponding metadata can be added. You can find metadata and the filter search underneath the Organize panel. Remove metadata. Images that contain metadata can now be purged of those qualities. To remove metadata, right-click your image and navigate to Metadata, Remove. Removal will allow you to choose EXIF or IPTC, ACDC metadata, and ACDC face data. These elements can be removed individually or as a group. Additionally, you can remove metadata by navigating to Metadata from the Tools dropdown. Metadata can be removed as a bulk action when multiple items are selected. Info Palette and Histogram Pane in Manage Mode ACDC Mac 9 now features an info palette and histogram underneath your folder directory. This provides quick access to RGB values in addition to image dimensions, f-stop, shutter speed, etc. Let's now have a look at the features new to view mode. Info palette added to view mode. Like manage mode, 
View mode now features an info palette that provides quick access to dimensions, f-stop, shutter speed, and more. It's located to the right of the film strip. Show original button. In response to user suggestions, we've added a show original button to view mode, which allows you to cycle between a developed image and the original image. Ensure that your image has developments by the little purple icon that appears in the bottom right of the thumbnail. When in view mode, clicking on the icon displays the original conditions of the image and letting go will preview the developments once again. Preview snapshots in view mode. Introduced in view mode is snapshot previewing. We'll talk more in a moment about how we make snapshots in develop mode. But first, we're going to navigate to view mode with an image that contains snapshots. On the bottom of view mode in the menu bar, I can click the snapshot preview icon to see what snapshots this image has. Here I've saved two different foliage hues and an image with a vignette. By clicking on the snapshot, the preview itself will change to match the thumbnail snapshot. Snapshots that are saved to an image will result in this little blue icon here in Manage Mode. This icon tells me that this image has snapshots in it to preview. Let's now have a look at Develop Mode. And let's start by talking about snapshots. New to Develop Mode is snapshots. Snapshots are a way to save a version adjustment of your developments on a single file as you are working. Think of them as little drafts along the way to a finished product. I'll open up an image in develop mode and start making some adjustments. If I like my adjustments, but I'm not certain of whether or not I am done yet, a great thing to do would be to save a snapshot. Let's save a snapshot of my clarity and dehaze adjustment here. To save a snapshot, I'll click the plus icon next to the snapshot pane on the right. This will prompt me to name my snapshot. Let's name it and save the snapshot. Now, if I navigate back to manage mode, even if I'm not done my image, at least I can bring up that snapshot when I need it. Let's navigate back to manage mode without saving. I'll come back into my image and I will click on my snapshot. The adjustments will be loaded and my adjustment slider to the left will match the adjustments. Now, if I want to adjust the hue and save a new snapshot, I can. History pane. Develop mode now features a history pane so you can navigate through your adjustments. The history pane is on the right next to your snapshots pane. Clicking on an individual history pane entry will reintroduce those exact elements. You can also undo or redo from this pane using the icons at the top. Info palette. Like view and manage mode, develop mode also features an info palette for quick property information on your files. Develop Mode Presets New to Mac 9 is the Develop Presets pane. In Develop Mode, the pane is located between the histogram and the snapshots pane. By opening up a category in this pane and selecting an option, the settings of the presets will be applied. These are default presets created by ACDC, but the pane itself also provides you with the ability to create your own categories and presets. To create your own category, click on the ellipses icon and select New Category. This action will prompt you to name your new category and it will be added to the presets pane. With your new category added, you can now click the plus button and add a whole new preset. Keep in mind that adjustments must be applied to your image in develop mode to create a new preset. From here, we can name our preset and choose which settings to save. By default, all the settings will be saved. This new preset will be saved to the All category. Simply right-click on the preset to move it to your chosen category. There are several other features and improvements that can't be covered in this video. They will be featured on the product page. Stay tuned for more tutorial content, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.